This little tag right here is very, 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 very powerful. At this point, automation should be a part of your business. Turn into a conversion en en engine. Do y'all see this? You know, you've just entered the twilight zone. So I want to help everyone at all the restaurants have a need. Facebook, Instagram, Google, WhatsApp, Telegram, even your own website chat widget. TTT will always work. But having these conversations with our customers, we could build those relationships. Interact with our favorite restaurants in person and in digital. A solution-driven conversation, guys. This is what we want. And it's something I am really excited for. Well, Ryan, we're just getting started. You're not selling a bot, you're selling a solution. The inbox. This is your money box, guys. Every consumer now has NFC access. You've really brought the technology down to the level of your neighborhood. You are starting a conversation with your customer that never ends. Stop making people work to buy from you. Make it as easy as possible. NFC. Maybe. If I wanted to get the email as well, uh, you can't do that with Uber Eats and then also send a text. When this happens, I want these 10 things to happen afterwards to make sure yeah. I get that customer feedback, or right. get that customer to come back again. My success has been because I make basic bots that solve big problems. I've, oh That's my it. God, it. Oh my God. To have the table change the game. It's, it's a great space to be in. Ryan back legit blew my mind. That nailed it on the head. It was a mission all year all long. Year long. What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Baggett and today I'm going to show you a better way to connect, chat, and message with your customers using Google. That's right, we're going to build our own Google chatbot using Google Business Messages. If you're not sure what Google Business Messages is, first, Google Business Messages was designed to help you reach your customers where they are. You're going to be able to utilize Google Search and Google Maps like never before. As you can see here on my screen, the Google business listings, when you're viewing them on a mobile device, may now display a chat icon here. And so as I'm scrolling on this page, I see some animations here, and we see a customer, a user, uh, chatting with Bridgeport runners. And so we've got, hey, I'm Dash, the virtual assistant, how can I help? So this customer's asking the Google chatbot, hey, do you have curbside pickup? instant response. Yes, we do from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. What else can I help you with? And so she's now telling the chatbot, well, I'm running a 5K and I need some sneakers. So what happens here? Boom. The chatbot has now recommended several different sneakers for her to check out and potentially buy. So you can either look at details or shop. So she's now having a conversation about specific running shoes and it looks like the, the customer is just gonna go ahead and purchase said shoes, $91 shoes, buy now straight from the Google search. Guys, this is incredible. A better way to chat with your customers, right? 75% of consumers are saying now they would rather talk to a brand on a digital messaging channel versus a traditional channel like calling the 1-800 number, which this totally makes sense to me. All right, guys. So we've got reflector open and you see my phone here. What I'm going to do is open up Safari and I'm going to search for, um, we'll search for my marketing agency's Google listing. So <clears throat> let's go bag it's bots here. All right, perfect. So we pulled up my agency listing and what do you know, we've got the chat with an agent button. Let's go ahead and click the button and boom, here is what we've got going on. We can either click to get started or I've got a customer support button. In this case, let's just choose click to get started. And we've got some typing going on. Digital marketing agency in Bluffin, welcome to Bagot Spots. Please choose from the options below or just type help for a human agent, which would be me <laughs> or Wendy. Um, so we've got many options here. Um, we can contact a live agent now or choose to type help, whatever we prefer. We can choose to look at services, maybe want to do that. And in this case, I could have shown them in a chat the services, but in this case, I just wanted to get them quickly to maybe purchase the automation package that we've got going on right now. Um, let's hit done. We'll go back and we've got get your business ready for 2022. What's this going to do? Let's watch the video and find out. Boom. Okay. It takes us to YouTube and all of a sudden 
<laughs> there's the video that plays. Very cool. All right, guys, now that you've seen Google business messages in action on the customer side, now let's show you how to make your own Google business messages chatbot. So first head over to tapthetable.io. And if you already have an account, you know, just tap here in the top ribbon to log into your account. Click sign in with Facebook and your account defaults to land in your analytics tab. So we need to actually move down to the settings tab. So click on settings and then head on over to channels here. Next, you could probably guess, we're gonna go right over to Google Business Messages. Just a couple seconds and we've now connected here and we've got a few different things I'll point out. Uh, number one, when you've connected, just as we've done, you're gonna be provided two different links to test on mobile devices only. This is something that we've gotten a few questions on. You're not gonna be able to test your Google Business Messages agent that's what they're called in Google's ecosystem. You're not going to be able to test that on your desktop or laptop. It must be done on a mobile device. So you've got both an Android link and an Apple link. Next, you've got your bot verification agent button here. You do not want to press this until you're absolutely done and ready to verify that agent. What this does is it sends over all of your information that you provide to Google and they verify things. An actual human at Google checks out everything, verifies it, and then you're approved. Usually it takes about two days. Entry points. The entry points are the ways that your customers are able to initiate the conversation. So for example, when your customers are searching on Google and they um, go to your Google business listing, instead of choosing the website button, maybe they choose the chat button, which will then open up your Google Business Messages chatbot. When the customer does initiate the chat, they're gonna see a display name that you define here. Uh, I suggest that you just leave it as default, your, your Facebook page name and your Google Business Messengers account agent name can totally be the same thing. Add your logo here and, and keep in mind, once you've provided this logo, it's not up to tap the table, it's not up to us to update it you must request that to Google themselves. So it's probably best to make sure you're using exactly the right logo file that you'd like. Next, we've got a welcome message. By default, we've got welcome, how can I help you? You need to have a privacy policy link associated with your Google Business Messages account with us. It is a, a rule from Google and we follow all of the rules. Next, we've got conversation starters. Conversation starters are uh, those quick reply buttons that we've seen, the customer clicks the button and then your predefined conversation begins. For example, you might wanna have a conversation starter that's something like make reservations. And the idea would be you have a funnel here for reservations and you can add it and boom, this is ready to rock. Once you've completed these four simple steps, your Google business messages chatbot is ready to be verified by Google. Earlier, the funnel I used was a really simple one, and I'm gonna show you that next. Let's go to the funnels section, and the funnel is called Welcome Gallery. So I'll just click to edit, and here's what we've got going on. So first we've got a card that just says a digital marketing agency in Bluffton. Welcome to Bagot Spots. We've got a typing automation that is gonna occur for three seconds, and then it's gonna say here, please choose from the options below or type help for a human agent. So the next thing that's gonna happen is these cards, this gallery, this carousel gallery will then appear. I've got watch video, see timeline, view services, chat with a live agent. So if I click here and I choose watch video, I will see here's the YouTube link that I provided. Here's the button text. And when someone clicks this button, they're gonna be tagged in my system watched Ryan's welcome video. Let's look at this card here. So we've got have a question, don't hesitate. If someone clicks chat with a live agent, the next thing that happens is they get a response that says, we'll contact you with the right agent. Just type or tap your email and hit continue. And just type or tap your email to continue. So when your customer provides the email, the next thing that they're gonna be asked is their phone number 
And so once they've provided the phone number, they're going to get a thank you. We'll be in touch with you soon. The next thing that I've got happening here is a text message that goes to me. The text message is a very simple one. Uh, here's my number, and this is a customer chat alert. And I've got the name of the customer, the email of the customer, phone number, and inbox, an inbox link. This is going to allow me to receive a text message immediately when they provided that information. And when I tap that inbox link, now I'm going to be able to communicate with this person on the channel that they're currently on. Guys, it couldn't be any easier to crush it on search and social with AI and automation. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.